like to discuss about skew. See, what is skew? Skew is nothing but the difference of arrival time of the two sequential circuits. That is nothing but skew. There are two different types of skew. They are clock skew and another one, and another one is local and global skew. Clock skew is again classified into two types, positive skew and negative skew. And we will discuss about clock skew. Clock skew is nothing but the difference of arrival time of clock edge in two sequential elements. See, if you observe this block, this block contains three flip-flops. And the blue highlighted uh, arrow, that is nothing but the clock. Here the clock is distributed based on the distributed system, like the, for the flip-flop 1, flip-flop 2 and flip-flop 3. And this is the flip-flop 1 with the latency L1. Latency is nothing but it is a delay. And flip-flop 2 with the L2, latency L2 and flip-flop 3 with the latency L2. The dip See, what is here, the clock skew is nothing but the time at which the uh, uh, the clock the time at which the clock arrived at the ff1 minus ff2 that difference is nothing but clock skew and the difference the difference in the latencies latency is nothing but delay of the two sequential elements that is nothing but the clock skew clock skew is equals to l2 minus l1 this is the l2 and this is the l1 this l2 minus l1 that is nothing but clock skew Ideally, it is zero, but practically it is not. In detail, they have given uh, the, the clock skew is nothing but the cl clock latency at the capture flip-flop minus clock latency at the launch flip-flop. So this is the capture flip-flop and this is the launch, uh, sorry, this is the launch FF1 is the launch flip-flop as, uh, as it is L1 and FF2 is the capture flip-flop. This is the L2. Clock skew can be positive skew or negative skew or zero skew. Now, I would like to discuss about the positive skew. Positive skew is nothing but the capture flip-flop latency, that is L2. If L2 is greater than the launch flip-flop latency, that is L1. If L2 is greater than L1, that is nothing but uh, uh, positive skew. See, here at FF1, we are getting this clock. And at FF2, we are getting this clock. So the difference, the, the difference here you can observe the L2, L2 is greater than L1. That is nothing but the positive skew. Then what about the negative skew? Negative skew is nothing but the capture flip-flop uh, latency is lesser than the launch flip-flop. If uh, FF1 at the first, the FF1, like here you are seeing, right? This FF1, that latency is uh, FF1 latency is greater than FF2 at that uh, L2 at that time negative skew occurs. Here you can see the FF1 clock is this one and sorry, uh, FF2 latency is this one. The difference between two latencies, the difference between two, uh, two L1 and L2 here L1 is greater than L2 that is nothing but the negative skew. So in positive skew, L2 is greater, L2 is greater in negative skew, L1 is greater. And see what about like why in what at what place we are using the skew. Positive skew is helpful to fix the setup, and negative skew is helpful to fix the time violations. For the, the uses of the skew is this one. And now we will discuss about local and global skew. Local is nothing but the difference in the clock arrival time of two related flip-flop. And what about the global skews? The difference of maximum latencies and the minimum latency in the design between two non-related flip-flops. Local is the difference of arrival time of two related flip-flops. And the uh, global is it is related to non-related flip-flop that is the basic difference between local and global skew so that's it for today and thank you everyone